Okay, hello from Thailand. Last video, I talked about how I was coming to Thailand. Yeah, I'm here for five months and I'm teaching English. And basically, I wanted to go on a trip that was solo, that was shorter, but also funded itself. <laughs> Anyways, today is Saturday and I'm gonna do laundry. And I thought maybe I would share a little bit about what I'm doing here and where I am. I wanted to publish this video weeks ago, but teaching plus Will visiting for the new year delayed it. Sorry about that. I came to Thailand with a US-based program that partners with another program in Thailand to place teachers in schools inside the country. Most of the logistics were either handled by these organizations or closely monitored by these organizations. What I mean is I applied for my visa myself, but with a lot of information from these organizations. They reviewed my application before it was sent to make sure that everything was done correctly. I think that was a huge help in me coming here and it would have been much harder to do on my own. My housing was found for me before I arrived. Um, the school was found for me. I mean, I did get to accept the school, but they found the school for me based on my requests of location. One thing that some people might not like about working with a company is that my salary was set before I came. It's about a thousand dollars a month and I get a stipend for housing. The move to Thailand has been full of lots of ups and downs. Some days have been hard and some have been really amazing. I walk through this little alley here and I'm right next to two schools. So basically this is my desk and all the other teachers desks up here in the mini English program office. I just came to get some books and papers that I'm grading and then I'm going to go back home. Looks like somebody gave me a new calendar. Nice. One of the things that's really hard about moving to another country is that you have no more routine at all. So establishing a routine was important for me, finding my local coffee shop, my grocery store, all of those things. So obviously, because I'm in a small town, it's not the same as the teachers who like live in Bangkok or live in Chiang Mai. They have like a lot more transportation options, a lot more things to do on their days off. Not that I have nothing to do, but I know it's like a little bit easier for them. So I do mostly walking, but I also live five minutes from the school. So it's pretty nice. So I asked people on Instagram if they had any questions about like being in Thailand. So some people sent questions. So I thought I would answer some of them. One question was, what do you absolutely love and what do you absolutely hate? And that's kind of hard because of the extreme of love and hate. Like, I feel like you'd have to have a really bad experience to hate something. But I guess in general, one thing I dislike is, one thing I dislike is like the lack of infrastructure and I'm just gonna preface this with, it's easy to say this when you come from a wealthy country, but like the lack of infrastructure for like safe,
travel for pedestrians <laughs> is frustrating. Like there's no sidewalk many places or the sidewalk's really narrow and like broken up and just not great in general. Um, there's, no, there's not a lot of crosswalks. There's no like pedestrian signal here in this small town. If you go to Bangkok and stuff, they are. Okay, the other thing I forgot to mention is like pedestrians don't have the right of way. So like, if you're crossing the street, nobody stops for you. So you're basically like waiting for it to be clear. The street that I'm near is pretty busy because of the two schools right here. But luckily there's like a bridge to go over to the other side. Also, you know, they drive on the other side of the road, so I'm always like, which way, which way are they coming from? <laughs> what do I love? I think one of the things that's been really helpful for me is that like the other foreign teachers are a bunch of Filipino teachers and they are super friendly, super welcoming. They're always telling me what's going on when I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> They invite me over for dinner, they include me in things like birthday parties and stuff. So I think that's been like really great to have. Okay, another question I got was, do you ever get used to the humidity? I mean, I, I guess, I guess I'm used to sweating. I guess I'm used to sweat dripping down my back in the middle of class or my face and not caring what I look like anymore because I can feel the sweat beating up on my nose. I don't know, I, I, I guess I'm used to it. <laughs> Do I like it? No. Do I run my air conditioning a lot? Yes. So another question I had was, do I miss any creature comforts? Um, I think food is like the thing I miss the most. Um, it's one thing to be like, oh, I like Thai food. It's another thing to be like, there's not any of the other foods I like here. <laughs> There's no Mexican food. There's like Kentucky Fried Chicken everywhere and like Pizza Hut, but I don't really like that. <laughs> so, but in terms of American food, it's hard to find. Like you can't find a can of Pinto beans. If you think about like what's your favorite or like regular habitual things that you like, and then you can't find them here. That's hard, like I can't find my favorite tea. But also I don't have an oven. I only have this little electric pot that I can cook on. So I can't make, like certain things I can't make, even if I miss them. Somebody else asked about food and they asked like, what has been my favorite food so far? And honestly, it's been Indian food, not <laughs> Thai food. <laughs> sweaty because it's humid here and I sweat all the time in Thailand okay so what someone did not ask is what's the hardest thing here in Thailand so I think the hardest thing is like work like teaching is hard work and adjusting to like a work culture in another country is its own challenge So a lot of the communication in Thailand is indirect. So not directly telling you what they want, which can be challenging for somebody from the US. Um, also, also there's like a lot of last minute plans or last minute information given. So you have to have a lot of patience. I don't think anybody is trying to be difficult or trying to be causing frustration. I just think that's how it is here. And so 
like you have to kind of adjust your expectations and get used to it. Okay, before anyone thinks that I haven't had anything nice to say about my time here, um, what do I like? I like that I've gotten back into running. Um, I like that it's not winter, for sure. That it's not snowing, it's not raining all the time. You know, I do miss everybody back home in Washington. Um, I like the student interns, they're my neighbors. They're like student teachers from the university and they're really, um, they're really sweet. Today I was like, they could tell I was frustrated and they were like, what's wrong? Can we help you with anything? So, and I like the chance to explore. I, I'm really excited that I got to take a trip to Krabi and go to Chiang Mai and when Will's here, we're gonna do some more stuff. So I'm really grateful for that opportunity. Thank you.